Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I just want to show you guys a side project that I started working on a couple days ago. This is just kind of for fun. Kind of wanted to challenge myself and make something that you don't see every day. As you can see here, and I'll get closer up in a minute. Um, this is my little work area that I'm doing this at. And I've already got the chassis laid out, the sides of it at least, the base floor. You can see there I got a little mock-up of an engine, rear axle, and then a seat. However, I was thinking this was going to be a single seat vehicle, but you can see there just for comparison's sake. So now let me readjust the camera and show you guys a little closer. So here's what I've gotten done so far on this scratch built tube chassis that I'm going to make. And like I said a second ago, this is my first attempt at doing this. And it's not perfect, but I spent a few hours the other day when I started this and you know the phrase measure twice, cut once, well I was measuring like six times, you know, cutting a little over each time just to make sure, you know, because you can always shorten it up, but once you cut too much it's you know it's done. And I did that a couple times as always, but uh it's coming out pretty good. I got these little nubs here in the back. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with those. They were just, this actually right here is one piece and I had to cut it in the middle and uh, shorten it widthwise. And I originally had, uh, it's this one right here, this piece here, I was going to use this for like a transmission cross member. I guess it's set like this and you can see I even had the marks for, and then I realized that the way I did it, it was offset, and if I had trimmed it down to make it even in the middle, it wouldn't match up right, so I said forget it. Uh, created another cross member there, and this is actually, if you can believe it, this is all being used with regular styrene. Uh, I actually do plan to go to the hobby store either tomorrow or the next couple days, get some actual tube and other, you know, like square and stuff like that because I really want to make a really nice um, like pro stock or uh, pro mod style chassis you know scratch build that'd be sweet but right now I'm just working on this is going to be originally it was going to be a like rock crawler but I think now since I'm going to actually go get some real stuff I'm going to just kind of have this as a beginning project and it's going to be more of like a like a uh, insane go-kart if you will so I'll build kind of a little roll cage, but I won't do nothing fancy, and then I'll have a, a engine in the front V8, you know, as you can, it's going to be pretty much just like you see here, two-wheel drive, uh, it'll sit kind of low, so it's going to be pretty sweet, and then the next one I'll build, I do want to do a rock crawler, but if I'm going to build that, I want to, you know, have the right uh, materials to use to build the chassis, because this is pretty much... 125th scale. It's a little. I used a 1968 Mustang chassis just as an example to get my widths and everything. And the chassis itself, from here to here, is slightly wider by about the width of one of these strips of styrene here. And this is all round too. Like I said, uh, it was all sanded down, cut down. Uh, like I said, I spent probably three or four hours the other night, you know, starting on this. So, and I actually had some friends over here and. They thought I was crazy. But I told them, I said, wait till it's done. When you see when it's done, it's going to be pretty sweet. You know, it's kind of hard to tell what it's going to be. I know some of you scratch builders and modelers out there can probably tell right now exactly the direction I'm going. But, um, yeah, so probably what I'm going to do, since this is just a, you know, throw it together type of uh, setup that I got going just to start out to get, you know, get a, a feel for it. Uh, I got some really good super glue. I'm probably just going to tack it up in place, pull all the pins out, flip it over, glue it real good. And then I got, I actually do have some sheet styrene here. Let's see if I can get over here. So I do have that, and I plan to use that for, like, I'll put a, like a floor in here, and then I might put some panels on or some, you know, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, like I said. So. This is just the first video showing you guys, you know, what it's looking like, and uh, trust me, there'll be lots more videos on this. If you have any questions, let me know, or if you guys have done something like this, you have any tips, 
feel free to personal message me or leave a comment. I am always up for advice and help and all that. I'm not one of those people that, you know, thinks he knows everything, because trust me, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to finish it up there. You guys all have a great day. Like I said, rate the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more videos to come. I will talk to you guys soon.